Hi Techies, welcome to this session. My name is Yogesh. In this session, we are going to discuss on uh, AWS EC2. So first thing friends, uh, EC2 stands for Elastic Computer Cloud. Amazon EC2 is a web service from AWS which enable a AWS user to rent virtual computing resources from EC2 Cloud. EC2 is a virtual computing environment that enable AWS user to use web service interface or AWS command line interface to launch instances with a variety of operating system configurations, a variety of compute configurations and later that user can uh, install or customize the applications on that platform and uh, certainly he or she can manage access on uh, that particular virtual server. If you remember old days uh, when most of the application or databases were running on physical servers. If you are planning at that time to deploy some application or database, first thing was architecting requirement for that particular application or database. You will decide which hardware you are going to buy. You will order the hardware. It will take months to reach the hardware into your data center, then racking, cabling, and other things. Then your system admin or your build administrator will install OS and do the SOA work. And that work take literally months to finish. With EC2, instance creation is on your fingers. Just a couple of clicks and you a new virtual server will be ready for you. And depending upon your requirement, you can choose from various compute instances available from EC2. And depending upon your storage requirements, you can choose different type of storage offerings from Amazon. And uh, again, uh, last thing, depending upon your network requirements, you can choose whether you want enhanced networking or you want basic networking. So friends, uh, first thing, what are the basic components of a virtual server? Or you can say building blocks of a virtual server. So in my opinion, there are three. First is compute. When I say compute, it means virtual CPUs and virtual memory and uh, you can say virtual system board. So these three components together makes compute. AWS EC2 equivalent uh, is called AWS instance. Second thing comes storage. Storage is required uh, to load or hold the operating system or your application or database related data. In AWS, we call storage EBS volumes. Last thing you need, that is network. Network is required so you can communicate to that particular virtual server from externally and you need network interface for that one. In AWS EC2 terms, we call it AWS ENI. ENI stands for Elastic Network Interface. And if you can see on my screen, I have a documented couple of links. I will show you. First thing, Compute, which is AWS instance. There are a variety of instances available from Amazon. If you can see on my screen, uh, this is Amazon website. As on today, this is the information available. There are multiple type of instance. Let's talk about this one, T2. This T2 Nano that got one vCPU and uh, 0.5 GB of RAM and storage is EBS type. And uh, the largest one in T2 category is T2 Large which got two vCPUs and uh, 8 GB of RAM. And if you see this particular term use cases, it is telling for which type of environment this particular instance can be suitable. So this is for suitable for development environments or build servers or code repositories where there is not much activities. Next type is M4 and uh, largest one in M4 category is with 64 vCPUs to 56 GB of RAM 
and uh, this is the EBS bandwidth MBPS and uh, there are friends different category if you can see on my screen this is M3 which which supports maximum 8 vCPUs and uh, 30 GB memory this is the SSD storage type then if you see uh, this one X1 X1 about 128 vCPUs and approximate 2 terabyte of virtual memory and this is recommended for databases like SAP, Big Data or Apache Spark, Presto so these are the use cases where Amazon recommend like if you're running these particular databases or applications this instance is suitable friends so there are multiple type of instances you can refer this link if you want more detail and this is quick uh, reference to instance type metrics so it tells this particular instance whether it supports enhanced networking or not what are the maximum supported cpus so all the instances as on data are listed here all the configuration so you can refer this page friends next thing about storage so in amazon there are two major category of storage one is ssd and the other is hard drive which is you can say magnetic the legacy hard drive types which we still use on our physical servers so friends uh, in ssd we got uh, two categories io1 and gp2 io1 is suitable for databases if you see use cases this is suitable for databases and gp2 which is journal purpose that is suitable for boot volumes mean operating systems and low latency interactive applications in dev and test environments so friends uh, this is about storage and on this page it is written now uh, what is the maximum throughput per instance we can get if we use this particular type of storage and uh, what is the max or minimum capacity like io1 minimum storage size is 4 gb and max it can support up to 16 terabyte and for gp2 1 gb is the minimum 16 terabyte is maximum so the other type which is magnetic that comes in two category st1 and sc1 st1 is throughput optimized storage and uh, sc1 that is cold hard drive st1 is suitable when you are running big data or data warehouse or log processing let's say splunk kind of thing and uh, other is sc1 that is suitable for colder data require fewer scan per day like if your application is not running much scans so you can use this particular type of storage and again this is the throughput and this is the pricing for each type of storage if you uh, choose this one this is the dominant performance attribute like ssd is best suitable for iops and the magnetic storage is for mbs per second like how much mbs can be written or read from that particular storage per second so that was a little bit about storage and let me show you last thing which is our eni elastic network interface i'm clicking on the link let me copy paste friends link it is not opening here not sure why sorry for disruption okay so this link is opening now so friends e as i said eni stands for elastic network interfaces these are the couple of attributes a primary private ip address it contains uh, one ip address per interface and uh, when you launch instance by default it assign public ip one or more security group it contains mac id which is normal for interface and friends uh, these are the maximum supported interfaces on instance type let's say you choose c1 medium so you can add up to two interfaces and if you choose let's say this one m2 x large two x large you can add four network interfaces and if you're choosing x1 dot 32 x large you can add eight network interfaces and 
these are the IPs per interface on single interface you can configure these many IPs so friends uh, that was little bit about network for detail like you can uh, visit this Amazon web service page and uh, it will give you most of the information and next thing friends when you choose EC2 instances uh, one thing will come into your mind how much Amazon is going to charge you so friends uh, there are different pricing models first one is on demand on demand mean you are paying to Amazon on hourly basis on demand mean you are not committing to Amazon that I'm going to run or use this particular instance for three months six months so no commitment you can terminate that instance anytime Amazon is not going to charge you in a long commitment model so you will be only charged on hourly basis second type is reserved in reserved so uh, in that model you do one time payment and Amazon give you discount and in this model you commit to Amazon that I'm going to run this instance for a year or three year higher the duration of commitment cheaper will be the instance so uh, that's the second type friends and uh, next type is a spot instance that is bit based service so your instance is not assured that it will be always be running in case uh, Amazon gets some higher bid they can terminate your instance for uh, sport instances if Amazon your Amazon terminate your instance in that case you will be not charged for that particular hour duration if you terminate that instance you will be charged for an hour or how many hours for how many hours you have used that instance and last one that is dedicated host so dedicated host is a physical EC2 server dedicated for your use in market friends there are multiple applications which are license specific like they are bound to your host ID or they are bound to your Mac ID of your server so in such cases you can use dedicated host so only you will be using that particular physical host so friends that was introduction to AWS EC2 and uh, stay tuned in another videos I will be sharing the steps to be followed to launch EC2 instance using graphical interface and I will be uploading one more video where I will discuss how we can create EC2 instance using command line interface thanks friends hope you will be watching the uh, next videos and uh, in case you have any suggestion or any query or you want any information in detail you can leave a comment on my youtube channel i will try to respond as soon as possible thank you friend